L.R. the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country that is desperately searching for a way to rid themselves of the most incompetent individual ever elected to lead our country, if in fact his election was even legal. It seems that there are two ways that offer a legal method of removing a president and both have the potential of being successful. First is the 25th Amendment, Section 4, which states, Whenever the vice president and a majority of either the principal officers of the executive department or of such other body as Congress may by law provide, transmit to the president pro tem of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. The vice president shall immediately assume the powers and duties of the office as acting president. This is the least desirable method since our current VP is only barely a step up from the current clown in the Oval Office. A more desirable method is the impeachment clause in Article 2, Section 4 of our Constitution, which states, The President, Vice President, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. The House of Representatives has the sole power of impeaching, while the United States Senate has the sole power to try all impeachments. This would allow us to remove all of our current members of the executive branch and start over with a brand new crew. We must act with all due speed to make the House of Representatives aware that our current situation is intolerable and their failure to act will have severe repercussions to their individual congressional careers. You can reach me at theliberalredneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me, the pagan goddess and the professor every Thursday evening at 10 p.m. Central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash theliberalredneck.